Assalamu alaikum in this video we will try to cover some of the remaining instruments for our IOSPI in this video we will cover mainly uh, needle holders and scissors because for me they look more or less the same and I consider that uh, these are somewhat confusing pictures we can intermix in between these two here just see these are the needle holders and here you can see that these are your scissors right these are the scissors but they more or less look like the same just consider that uh, in your viva in your uh, or your eye or the exam a picture has come okay you have to decide that either it is a needle holder first battle is that you have to decide either it is a needle needle holder or either it is a scissor for seeing this okay or uh, for saying that either it is a needle holder or scissor with surety just see just is a picture in front of you that uh, you have to see, uh, see this zoomed out picture first of all after that see that this is the screw see the blades in front of the screw here you can see that these blades both these blades are going in their own path they are going straight if this is going this way this is going this way they are not crossing each other like this here you can again see that this is going on its own path this is going on its own pathway right but in the case of the scissors if you see the zoomed out picture of these scissors you can clearly appreciate that in fr uh, in front of the screw you can see that these blades are crossing each other this blade is coming this way this blade is going this way they are crossing each other just like this here you can again see that this blade is just like this and this is just like this they are crossing somewhat each other here you can again see that in front of the screw this blade is just like this and this is just like this here you can again see this blade is just like this and this is just like this these blades are crossing each other so these are mainly scissors so you have decided after seeing these blades that either this is a needle holder or this is a scissor after that you have to decide that which needle holder is this because these needle holders again look like the same more or less but one major difference in between these two is that if you see its two limbs clearly they are widely spaced apart but here the two limbs are not so widely spaced apart they are uh, slightly closer to each other or comparatively closer to each other as compared to in this case they are widely spaced apart and similarly if you see these blades you can see uh, that these blades are also widely spaced apart so in zoomed out picture there is a clear and proper space in between these two but here you can see you have decided that this is a needle holder right after that you have to see further that these two limbs are again close to each other a very less amount of space is present in between these two limbs and these two blades are very much close to each other there is not a clear or proper space in between these two blades so so it is castro vijo's needle holder spring action needle holder a barraquois type of needle holder as if you know if you uh, know urdu language you must uh, be knowing that 12 in urdu means 12 okay 12 so barraquois type needle holder okay this is castro vijo's needle holder 12 means somewhat a larger amount okay so this is a larger one and castro vijo's needle holder is a smaller one after that see that aruga steven silcox and kelt needle holder you can remember it by the mnemonic Aruba has seven cocks. By Aruba, remember Aruga. Seven, Steven. Cock, Silcock. So this is Aruga, Steven, Silcock and Kelt needle holder. You can also remember it by simply Aruga's needle holder. See, Aruga start from A and similarly this is somewhat confused A shape. Right? Okay. After that comes their functions. Here you can see again as it is a needle holder. Its main purpose is to hold the needle but for what purpose the needle is used needle is used for suturing right so varicose type needle holder is either used for passing sutures in conjunctiva either sclera or uh, cornea etc like these are the major structures that you can see in your eye this is if this is your cornea after that here is the conjunctiva sclera and above it is the conjunctiva and you can uh, use it for passing sutures under any of these structures after that comes the castrovijo's needle holder it is again used for passing the sutures okay either in intraocular or extraocular surgeries after that comes the ruga steven silcox and kelt needle holder as if again uh, 
uh, you know that uh, you know about the Urdu language, you can clearly remember Ruga, Stephen Silcox and Kent Needle Holder by the mnemonic SAL. SAL, year or SAL. A means Aruga, okay? And S means superior rectus suture and L means for lead surgery, okay? This is not a rocket science. You can simply write that it is used for passing sutures in the case of the intraocular surgery. But as if you are if you are a person like me who is bookish form, who is satisfied when he or she writes the exactly same words as written in the book. So I am telling for those people particularly. Otherwise, you can simply write if you don't want to go deep into it or you want to uh, you don't want to confuse yourself then you can simply write that they are used for passing the sutures in intraocular and extraocular surgery simple okay uh, and i will say that make things simple for you please after that you can say that uh, you can uh, say clearly that these are the scissors as after the screw it is crossing the blades are crossing each other right this is coming here in this way and this is in this way they are crossing somewhat so this is plain straight scissor as its shape indicates but in the case of the curved scissor its blades are not so much sharp like here you can see they are clearly sharp but it is not so much sharp okay so these are plain curved scissors after that comes the corneal scissors here you can see that again uh, o is coming in the uh, cornea so remember it by this mnemonic o for openings openings are present in its length number one number two thing as here you can see you do, you cannot say that in this case openings are not present here small small openings are present if you stick to your books pictures and in front of this uh, screw you can see that these blades are again crossing each other so this is scissor as there are openings present so this is corneal scissor section enlarging scissor and it is mainly used in the cataract surgery like in the cataract surgery you know that uh, first step is that you have to uh, not first step uh, exactly but uh, in Cataract surgery, you have to uh, give the corneal in CN or corneoscleral in CN. So, it is mainly used to enlarge the corneal. This scissor you first give in CN, after that, you have to use this scissor to enlarge corneal or corneoscleral in CN in cataract surgery. Then comes the Dewacker scissor. Here, you can see that it has very peculiar or somewhat different picture. Two rings are present here. It is a scissor, just like this. Here, scissors also have two rings like this. Okay. Here you can see that scissors have what they have two rings again here two rings are present but they are present in somewhat different alignment okay and its arms are also somewhat right angled or its blades are also right angled here you can see it clearly like like this and then this okay to perform uh, it is mainly used as it is dewacker scissor okay it is dewacker scissor you can remember it by mnemonic as it is d okay d you can remember it by mnemonic id okay d for d backer scissor and i for iridectomy it is used to perform the iridectomy then comes these west coat scissors and vana scissors these are again two confusing scissors but just like the two needle holders barraquas and castrovijos needle holder the only difference in between these two that these this one is large size and this one is somewhat the its blades are somewhat small sized only difference in between these is two in between these two is this as First thing you have to decide in every case is that either it is a scissor or it is a needle holder. As its blades are crossing each other, its blades are somewhat large and clear spaces present in between these two. So it is spring scissor or west coat scissor and this is your one hour scissor. As scissors are used for cutting something. So it is used for cutting conjunctiva and various operations and cutting sutures. Okay. But here, this vana scissor, V for vana and V for vitreous, it is used for cutting vitreous, okay? But this west cord scissor is used for cutting what? Sutures and for cutting conjunctiva, right? So that was all. We will cover the, ne uh, the remaining instruments in the next video. If it is possible for me, I would make it soon, inshallah. Thank you very much.